What is going on guys? My name is Tyler and welcome back to the channel for another AMC update video. Now we're going over some breaking news that came out on the webcast that we have been predicting for a very long time. We were correct on a lot of these things, but we're going to be going over roughly six to eight different things that I want to bring to you guys' attention out of the 10 things that Adam Aaron did say that were new news. Some of these, a few of these were not very important, not really things you guys should be too concerned about whatsoever that really won't have an influence on the stock but there is a lot of information that you guys have to know about and I do think we are likely to continue to see throughout the rest of this week a bullish trajectory and what I am seeing on the technicals as far as where we did close for after hours is signifying this to us so there's a lot to be excited about there's a lot to go over in this video so let's not waste any time getting into it the only thing that I ask is that you hit that like button for me as well as comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell so first things first guys congratulations to anybody that has invested in amc this was the most important quarter that we are ever going to get guys and this did signify a lot to investors this does help justify its current share price at 35 dollars 60 cents arguably could be seen as undervalued in a long time frame right we're not talking about right now if you do consider amc will keep growing at its current pace you could make an argument in five ten years amc would be undervalued at its current price now we're not going to get into that too much but just congratulations to everybody that is holding on to amc and continue to buy the dip like i have myself now let's talk about this confirmation to the bullish rally right what i talked about in the last video is we have to break out past this 50-day moving average and close above this and this should turn into a solid support level and that is exactly what did happen today the 50-day moving average is at $35.32 we did close at $35.60 so we strongly broke this not by a lot but we did break this and we closed above this so we are likely to see this gap up effect coming tomorrow or throughout the rest of the week that is what I would imagine after hearing Adam Aaron and his team of executives get such bullish guidance guys absolutely incredible there was nothing that was bearish on the whole call and and there's a lot of new innovation that is coming to amc so let's break that down for you guys i did take a lot of notes on the phone so please bear with me but amc is expected to be free cash flow positive by q4 of this year so essentially saying that they are actually making money guys that is a huge step a lot of analysts have been saying that amc won't be free cash flow positive until at least 2023 if they can do this by q4 of this year in 2021 one that is a huge milestone guys because they are losing money right now they're they're bringing in money but they're still spending more money on operations paying out employees etc taxes all that good stuff that they are actually making so they are technically losing money but they only lost 80 million this quarter in q2 compared to 120 million last quarter so definitely a significant difference i know we've had a lot more people going back to theaters but this is just overall due to the business leaning down and they did say they closed 74 locations in 2020 that did help them actually cut back on their expenses and they are opening a lot of new theaters which we'll talk about in just a few but Adam Aaron did say in his own words he is chasing hard the esports concert shows and sporting events so they're going strong balls to the walls if you per se right that's that's what I like to say going after this and they're going for the throat they want this branch of revenue and I don't blame them this is a great thing to be doing they said the UFC fights alone brought in astronomically high numbers of people. The tickets were sold out, and that was even more than they even had expected. So definitely a great thing right there to see them branching out into new revenue sources. Definitely, definitely a good thing. He does go on to say, in quotes, I couldn't tell you how many times shareholders have asked us to asked us to partner with GameStop. We are on the case and there is more to come. So definitely investors are going to like to hear that. That has been a widely speculated uh, thing that they should do, right? A lot of people, even Jim Cramer and CNBC, they have said, why don't they just team up and do whatever they're going to do, right? So that is something that a lot of people did have in their mind going into this webinar, but that did kind of confirm it to us. Nothing definitive, but they are looking into the idea 
Now, he did say that the vice president for Epic Games is also a part of AMC on the board, and he said they're in talks with doing gaming events. Uh, I, I used to game, I used to watch those gaming events, but Epic Games, if you guys are unaware, is like Fortnite, and there's a lot of people that follow that, so potentially bringing some of those events into AMC Theater. AMC theaters definitely wouldn't be a bad extra source of revenue, but they're in talks about that. Nothing definitive, but it did sound like that was something that is going to happen. Now, this is where it gets very interesting. This is something that we have called out on this channel many times throughout many videos. Different crypto, but we have called it out many times on this channel. He says, by the end of this year, AMC will accept Bitcoin as payment for all ticket sales and concessions at all of its AMC theaters which you do have to pay online for this but nevertheless they will accept bitcoin at all of their theaters by the end of the year this was definitive this is happening guys anything with cryptocurrency and a business you tend to get a higher multiple right you tend to get more people that are interested in the business as an investment but you tend to see more revenue because you can actually use bitcoin if you didn't have cash you had bitcoin you could transfer it into amc tickets why wouldn't you do that so that is definitely a huge thing and i think if Investors are going to be jazz for that. Now, he also does say they are pursuing more involvement with cryptocurrencies, more to come in the future. So they are actively looking into this. Adam Aaron did say himself that he has learned more about cryptos in the last six months than he has learned in the last 10 or so years. So definitely trying to learn up on cryptos and the whole business and how they can intertwine AMC with cryptos. So definitely a huge thing right there. I think, I mean, anything with crypto and a business, like I said, is going to have a higher multiple. There's going to be a lot more excitement about the business. So definitely great things right there, guys. He he said by the end of the year as well, Apple Pay and Google Pay uh, will actually be available to pay for concessions and tickets online that they are actually writing the code for that right now. So definitely another good thing. I think that's a bit of a side eye compared to the crypto. I think that's going to have more influence on the actual share price and the enthusiasm with the company, but nevertheless, a great thing. Now, this is very exciting as well, guys. All Warner Brothers films will be played in AMC theaters 45 days before they are available at home and AMC he he did go on to say that AMC and Warner Brothers they did get into a bit of a conflict because they had agreed to do this and then they took that away but now he has definitively announced that any Warner Brothers film will be played in AMC theaters 45 days before they are available at home through any streaming service so definitely a huge thing he also did go on to say that he is in talks with every single major movie producer to try to bring theatrical releases to all of all of their movies to the theater industry as a whole. He says there's a lot of support from this, but obviously some companies are going to be more hesitant than others, so we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But the last thing that you guys should really know about, and I don't think this is going to move the needle on AMC and the share price as much, but it does give investors a lot of confidence in the executives and the management CEO of the company, meaning just they have a financial interest in the company, so they want to see it do good as well and obviously with that being said that is forcing or making it uh, a thing for executives ceos chairmen of amc to keep a certain amount of years worth of salary in shares and not sell them adam aaron himself is proposing the largest uh, allocation of shares that he will have to keep on hand obviously rightfully rightfully so, of eight years worth. So that comes out to $12 million worth of shares he will have to keep in his portfolio at any given time. I believe the executives was four, four years and then the senior vice vice executives or whatever was two years so definitely a good thing that the company is going to have a financial interest or i should say the executives the leaders of the company will have a financial interest in amc and want to see the company do good overall so those are the most important things that you guys really need to know about that'll ultimately help move the needle with amc there was a lot more nuanced things but these things are very important to the future and the business of amc and ultimately the short squeeze the mother of all short squeeze of 
of AMC stock. So with that being said, guys, drop the like on the video as well as comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell. At the same time, check out the links down below in the description. There is a link for public. They do not use payment for order flow whatsoever, guys. So definitely check that out. Get up to $70 in your choice free stock in about three minutes time with no need to link a bank account or deposit a single dollar to get to get your free stock. And if you did this right now, you'd have your free stock in about three minutes time. So definitely worth doing that as well as if you guys want to be notified in real time every time a trade is bought or sold with stock options and crypto, whether it's a day trade, swing trade or longer term investment, check out the link for the buy and sell alerts. Very inexpensive. You join a great community. But with all that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the, vi the video. I will see you in the next one.